America's driven in business and secrets that are hidden and it's causing division and our mission to be smitten watching our lives glisten. If only we could listen to what these politicians are wishing to do with our children. Some are listed as gifted and sworn into a new position. They're sifted from the others and given privileges, like seeing the differences between them and others, no longer brothers separated by color and intelligence. They hugged goodbye and off they went toward hell again and severance. Every time we barely get by and sigh and cry out to the sky, we are reminded of how we've died on the ride toward relearning how to fly. It collides with our pride because we ask why we have fallen after being drawn in by sexual callings and we are just daunted by others flaunting their offspring, causing a haunting feeling that crosses me and caught me in a low place so raunchy. Everyone's been loaning their moaning and devoting their time to self-loathing instead of growing so much that I've began holding on to hopes and dreams like they could disappear in a cloak or like a sheet under a nicely set table. When the magician does his trick, it's the tablecloth out without lifting a thing, pulls it right from underneath, leaving the rest pristine. Clean cut magic seems fucking badass as long as it doesn't get tragic. Haggling for branches, sold as wands with crystals on them to enhance them. Seems more like a fashion statement made in a vacant basement than a mass of greatness made for casting spells and making spiritual arrangements. Don't be complacent, you can't fake it, take it and break it. That makeshift gay shit doesn't fly in my sacred placement of my soul and spirit being naked and awake. Fit for mental awareness, they do detrimentally declare us terrible parents tangled up in despair and lust. Compared to trust, we no longer amount to much. I want to burst first when it gets hilarious, this persona of mine barely fits. Need clarity and body mist and blare the crickets at night till I, till I twist my wrist.